Last year, I confronted Heizo Takenaka, the former Japanese finance minister, over why he handed over control of the Japanese financial system to a group of American and European oligarchs. He and his envoy told me that it was because Japan had been threatened by an earthquake machine. I did not believe it at the time. However, when I started exposing some of their doings, I was told by the Japanese security police that because of what I had said on places like Rents.com, that Niigata City was going to be hit by an earthquake. Two days later, Japan's largest nuclear reactor was the exact epicenter of two earthquakes, both 6.8 in magnitude. And that was too much of a coincidence for me. So I started doing research and found out about HARP, H-A-A-R-P. And I realized that they really did know how to make earthquakes. And they do it by shooting a billion watt microwave into the ionosphere, which is a part of the atmosphere that has a lot of energy in it, that pushes the ionosphere up into outer space and then it rebounds. And the way it rebounds can cause earthquakes. Just like an opera singer can break a glass by singing at a certain level, or by dragging your fingernails on a blackboard, you feel a weird sensation. If they adjust the vibration for the rock underneath their target site, they can do that. The same machine can also heat up subterranean water to cause earthquakes. And remember, a billion watt microwave. What does microwave do to water? It heats it up. Now imagine if you put a billion watts into a tropical storm. You could make it much bigger and you could change the direction it flows in. You know how there's high pressure zones and low pressure zones. Well high is hot and low is cold. And the hot flows into the cold. And vice versa and there's more of the cold. So they can heat up an area and cause it to flow into a next door area. In other words, these people are capable of creating the cyclone that hit Myanmar, the tsunami that hit Indonesia, and the earthquake that hit China. Now after the earthquakes hit Niigata, a member of the Inagawa crime family, which is based in around the U.S. Yokosuka Air Base, and members of the Inagawa family have told me that their big boss is George Bush Sr. In other words, they work for Skull and Bones. And they invited me to a so-called UFO gathering where they showed me the video of this blob. They told me it was a UFO, but it was obviously, to me anyway, a plasma uh, weapon or a ball of heat created by something like a billion watt microwave. And I predicted in my blog that there would be videos of lights found above China before the earthquake and those videos then appeared on the internet after I predicted they would and furthermore a Taiwanese satellite detected a 50 percent drop in the ionosphere in the amount of electric energy in the ionosphere above the earthquake zone now a 50% drop would be exactly what would happen with HARP. It would push the ionosphere up, and then it would slam back down. So, it looks like the insane criminals who have taken over the U.S. government are killing people and threatening people with earthquake weapons. It doesn't look like it. I actually have some of the proof. And I want to ask the governments of China and Russia and Japan to reveal to the world everything they know about these weapons and the use by the American forces. I would also like to ask the loyal Americans and the patriotic Americans in the Air Force to please bomb the power generator of the HARP stations in Greenland and Alaska so they can stop this mass murder. They've already killed 500,000 people. If we find out that the tsunami in Indonesia was caused by them, and there's a good chance because the earthquakes seem to be politically timed. They asked the 
Indonesian government to open the Straits of Malacca and to join in the fight against terrorism, and they refused. What happened? There was a tsunami, and suddenly they cooperated. In Myanmar, they are about to have a election, and immediately before the election it came. And guess what? Just conveniently, the U.S., British, and French navies are standing by with food supplies. It should take a couple of weeks to get there. What were they doing there already? And China had just succeeded in getting India to join with Russia and Brazil and other countries to join the Shanghai Cooperation Agreement or to cooperate with it. And Japan just had a very, very friendly summit meeting with China where the emperor met the Chinese leader three times. President Bush has not met the Japanese emperor in eight years. Okay? So in other words, the United States is becoming isolated. And instead of being the policemen of the world, they have become the uh, criminal of the world, the gangster of the world, the bully of the world. They have been taken over by madmen. And they have to be stopped. But we must not give them any excuse to convince the Western public to support a World War III. That's what they want, and they're not going to get it. The blueprint for HARP, High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. What does HARP do? HARP is, uh, is a large antenna where we beam radio frequency energy up into the upper atmosphere, and we create on a small scale what the sun normally does. The assignment came that the Navy and the Air Force were to manage the program? Applications uh, discussed in the patents included destroying missiles. Communications control and disruption were included. There were some other ideas both to possibly modify weather and finally uh, to lift a portion of the upper atmosphere further out into space where hopefully it would be able to deflect missile trajectories. In 1983, I did radio tomography with 30 watts, looking for oil in the ground. I found 26 oil wells over a nine-state area, and 100% of the time was accurate, which is 30 watts of power beaming straight into solid rock. HARP uses a billion watts beam straight into the ionosphere for experiments. Picture these strings on the piano as layers of the earth each one has its own frequency. What we used to do is beam radio waves into the ground and it would vibrate any strings that were present in the ground. We might get a sound back like, and we'd say, that's natural gas. We might get a sound back like, and we say that's crude oil. We were able to identify each frequency. We accomplished this with just 30 watts of radio power. If you do this with a billion watts, the vibrations are so violent that the entire piano would shake. In fact, the whole house would shake. In fact, the vibrations could be so severe underground that it could even cause an earthquake. The heart can create some of the effects that the sun creates that are similar to the aurora borealis. The heart can paint um, designs in the sky, if you will. You know, it can take the beam and move it. In, in any pattern that you, that the scientist who's doing an experiment might want to do.